is, let us discuss convergence and divergence of light rays. In case of convex lens, this is principal axis. Let us consider a beam of light. This is a beam of light traveling parallel to the principal axis. After strikes the convex lens, the reflected rays, the deviated rays are met at this point. That means these are the deviated rays. These rays are meets one point. This is called convergence. These refracted rays are met one single point. This is called convergence of light rays. So why these rays are convergent? Let us see. This is a convex lens. This lens is made of large number of prisms. This is a prism and this is a prism and this is also one of the prism and this is a prism. Okay, this is made up of large number of prisms like this. Okay, okay. So the, this convex lens is made up of large number of prisms. Okay, so if a ray of light traveling through the prism, it is deviated. Already we know rays of light on passing through the prism deviate towards its base. Observe this convex lens. Here the prisms have bases. In the upper half of the con convex lens, the bases are downward and the lower half of the convex lens, the bases are upward. Okay. From this, if a ray of light strikes the prism, it is deviated towards its base. So this ray is deviated towards its base and this ray is towards its base and this ray meets the prism and deviates towards its base. And observe like this, go on upward like this, the angle of prism is decreases. So if the angle of prism is decreases, the angle of deviation increases. The refracted angle of prism is very less. Therefore, it is more deviated like this. If the angle of prism is come downwards, if the angle of prism is increases, so the deviation is decreases like this. So, because of these prisms, the rays are deviated and these are met one single point. This phenomenon is called convergence of light rays. This point is principal focus. So, all these rays are passing through the lens and meet at this point. This is called convergence point or principal focus. This phenomenon is called convergence of light rays. And what is divergence? Let us see. Consider a concave lens. This is concave lens. And if you incident a beam of light like this, this is a beam of light, strikes the concave lens. And after strikes the concave lens, these are deviated like this. See, these rays are deviated like this. Why these rays are deviated like this? Here it is concave lens also made up made of different types of prisms. What are the prisms? See, this is one prism and this is another prism and this is another prism. So in this way, observe like this. This is made up of different prisms okay so the concave lens also made up of different prisms observe these prisms have bases in the upper part of the concave lens these bases are upward and the downward part of the concave lens the bases are downward okay so according to the rule if the rays strikes the prism they are deviated towards its base so in the upward part, the rays are deviated towards its base. So, base is upward. So, he, this ray also deviates towards its base. And in downward part, the rays are deviates towards its base. So, base is downward here. Okay. So, in by this reason, the rays are deviated like this. Okay. 
So, but if you extend these rays backward like this, these are met one single point. That means these rays are appears to diverge from this point. So, this is the divergence. So, these rays are divergent rays. This phenomenon is called divergence of light rays. It means this is called principal focus of concave lens. In case of concave lens, the light rays are appears to diverge from principal focus. In case of convex lens, the rays are convergent at principal focus. This is the divergence and convergence of light rays.